Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. We're about to leave uh, Ganchanapuri, which is where yeah. we are. Mm -hmm. um, before we do, one thing we want to see is the the Death Bridge, the World War Two Bridge, which is made quite popular with the film The Bridge Over the Rukwai. So we want to go see that. It's about 5k from where the hotel is. History behind this? We'll tell you a bit more when we get there. So we've just arrived at the River Kwai Death Bridge. This is a bridge that was uh, built by prisoners of war during World War II. Uh, it's to build a, a train line that went from Bangkok all the way to Rangoon in Burma. Uh, it was mainly used to, as part of the World War II war effort for the Japanese. And uh, a lot of British, American, Australian, Allied soldiers died building this bridge, like hundreds of thousands. It's made famous by the film The Bridge Over the River Kwai, which if you haven't seen, definitely worth a watch. Alec Guinness gives a sterling performance. My name is Nicholson. It's pretty touristy here. This is probably the first big tourist spot we've seen since Malacca. This actual bridge spot though, isn't the actual spot that is depicted in the film. The film's fictional, so the actual location they used never really existed. See? This is one of the train bridges that was built, so this was kind of like from the Thai tourism authorities was used as this is the death bridge and you can see a whole industry has been built around it but still hundreds of thousands of people did die so I think it's a good way to kind of memorialise all those that were sacrificed as prisoners of war that gave that sacrifice to the country. So today we're heading north, we've decided not to go to Bangkok as we've already meet, previously mentioned and we're going to try and stay away from the main busiest highway so we're keeping kind of to the west of Thailand as we head towards Chiang Mai uh, our aim at the moment is a place called Sukhothai there's a load of really interesting monuments and temples and it's like a less visited Angkor Wat which is in Cambodia so that's our aim. It's about 300, 400k from where we are now. We also haven't booked any accommodation tonight. It's been a while since we haven't done that. We're just going to hopefully find either somewhere to camp or a very cheap guest house. Uh, we didn't find any on the internet, so the usual booking and the Goda websites had no hotels where we're going, so we'll see. Just arrived at a temple with a massive Buddha statue, which you can see behind us. Yeah. Pretty cool. Seeing little things like this just along the road. Little things, mm. big things like this along the road. Mm. Uh, we're from England. Hotel. Hotel down here? Okay. In Nong Pu? Nong Pu. Oh, cop come cab. We've been shown a hotel by the guy, the very kind local guy. But we've also just seen this. So we're going to see if we can uh, pitch out. We're going to see if we can pitch a tent in the police station. Um, are we okay to camp? Yeah, which is good. Thank you. Thank you very much. We've got to stay. We're staying in the police station. Uh, the north, near Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy is getting ripped for having a shoe on a bike by the just police. Just one as well. <laughs> Look at that. Not two, just one. Success. Yep, just uh, being granted permission to sleep under this. A little place in the police station. Little shelter, which means on our tent we have um, like a netting 
which is much cooler than putting the waterproof cover on. So if we ever sleep in a tent, we cannot put the waterproof cover on, it's an absolute bonus. It's been raining a bit recently. Let's go get some food. What we got for dinner tonight, Lucia? It's just this brothy soup, really, really flavoursome soup with a big chunk of it of meat and veg. It's amazing. Well, I think for a bit of miscommunication, they thought we only wanted one bowl to share. So we've only got one bowl at the moment, and uh, Adam doesn't do one bowl. station stay, really good night. Lucia, a little bit annoyed because she got woke up by dogs through the night. The dogs are all like fighting each other and you can just hear That's them. not fighting. Today, I'm planning to do a 70 odd K day, but it could turn into a 120 K day. I see his face with the thought of 120 Ks. What do you think to that? Let's do it. Time to get ourselves some chicken for breakfast. This is a good breakfast. <laughs> got some rice as well. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out which one's bigger. Mm. I've never seen a cow with such big ears. I absolutely love it when I get a good downhill. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm going downhill for ages. Even when it's level, it's slightly down. shoulder it's good weather it's not too hot plenty of places to stop for food and drink so yeah we just fancy smashing it out today this will be one of the longest days i've ever done definitely the longest you've ever done this 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 journey isn't about doing long distances we normally do between 50 and 70 kilometers a day on a flat terrain but sometimes you feel good and we got up early today i think that's the key we just need kickstands how have we done that? Look, we just found these sticks with wires on the end. <laughs> That's quite good, isn't it? That is awesome. So I think I can get rid of this stick. What, what else are you going to use the stick for? For the dogs. I need to somehow put it across there like that. I think maybe if I just put it under there. Like that. Sorted. And then have some side play. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it. Okay. Oh! What are you doing? Is that for the dogs? Yeah. <laughs> arrived in the wild west. Look at these buildings behind us. Look at these. Yeah, cowboy. Route 66, here we go, baby. We're about 20 kilometers away from the end of the day. Today our aim is to get to a place called uh, 
Nong Chang. We've done 108 k so far, which, to be honest, we're not usually so distance and data driven. We kind of just cycle until we're tired because we set off so early today. We've just uh, done a lot more distance. Today's just been one of the best days of actual cycling we've had. We've gone from small towns near the Myanmar border to now we're getting fairly into the middle of central Thailand. And we're just continuing to head north. We've talked a lot me and this here. Just about life and our futures. What we think we're gonna do when we get back home, which is two years away and everything seems to be pretty good at the moment. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else other than here right now. 